Good afternoon. I'm Megan Paulus, Director of Student Chapters for ACS. And I'm Joanna Ray, Associate Director of Student Chapters. This has been an exciting year for our student chapters. We have grown to nearly 200 chapters, and this year we held our third annual ACS student convention at the University of Texas School of Law this past March. This afternoon, we would like to recognize our strongest chapters and individuals in our student network. The first student chapter award is for the Constance Baker Motley National Student Writing Competition. Every year, ACS, in conjunction with the University of Pennsylvania ACS chapter, awards cash prizes and an offer of publication to the strongest paper furthering and promoting a progressive vision of the Constitution, law, and public policy. This year's runners-up are Brian Jordan of The Ohio State University Moritz College of Law and, Ash <laughs> and Ashwin Chandelia of University of Virginia School of Law. And this year's winner is Kelsey Skaggs of Harvard Law School. <laughs> Kelsey will receive an opportunity to publish her paper in the University of Pennsylvania Journal of Constitutional Law in $3,000. We congratulate Kelsey on her very hard work. Our next award is for the Rising Chapter of the Year. This award goes to a new or recently revived chapter that has done the most to advance progressive legal causes. And this year's winner is Pepperdine University School of Law. For our next award, we are proud to partner with the Center for Reproductive Rights to present the Reproductive Rights and Justice Award. This award is given to the chapter that has had the greatest impact in the area of reproductive rights. This year's winner is Yale Law School. We would also like to recognize our chapters who have held at least 20 substantive events this past academic year, focusing on our national priorities with the programming award. This year's winners are the University of Chicago, Columbia, Georgetown, Harvard, IIT Chicago Kent, Indiana University, University of Missouri Columbia, University of North Carolina, The Ohio State University, <laughs> University of Pennsylvania, Rutgers Newark, St. Louis University, Stanford, the University of Texas, William and Mary, <laughs> and Yale. <laughs> Our final award is for the Student Chapter of the Year. This award goes to the chapter that has shown the greatest strength in meeting ACS's mission and goals. This year's winner organized a large number of exceptional events on progressive issues and ACS priorities, including racial equality and constitutional liberty in the intimate sphere. The chapter also developed programs that facilitated strong connections between its student members and a diverse coalition of other student organizations. Led by faculty advisor Richard Rubin and chapter president Serena Karakar, this year's winner is the University of Missouri School of Law in Columbia. Congratulations to Mizzou and to all of this year's winners. Now I am pleased to introduce Don Johnson. ACS National Board Member and Faculty Advisor to Indiana University Maurer School of Law ACS Chapter. We are, <laughs> we are all proud to have Don in our ACS network. Good afternoon. Um, I, am, uh, I want to quote Ted Shaw from this morning and say, I am very, very happy to be here. Um, when you're from the great state of Indiana, sometimes you need a little extra inspiration and help from your friends. It has been my uh, privilege to serve as the faculty advisor to the Indiana Maurer School of Law 
student chapter, um, and otherwise be involved with ACS since uh, its founding 15 years ago. Um, I became involved with ACS initially because I believed, as I continue to believe today, that ACS has tremendous potential to promote progressive legal change, and we need that change. My very first academic research project after leaving the Clinton administration's Department of Justice uncovered a series of reports by the Reagan administration's Department of Justice signed by then Attorney General Ed Meese. I don't know how many of you recognize that name, but these reports detailed a radical right-wing vision for constitutional change. I don't use that term lightly. The vision was truly radical when developed in the 1980s, but not so three short decades later. In remarkable respects, today it constitutes Supreme Court doctrine, the hollowing of the right to choose abortion, and even to choose contraception by Hobby Lobby the assault on Congress's authority to enact progressive legislation pursuant to its commerce and 14th Amendment authorities, the undermining of democracy in Citizens United. These all were foreshadowed and set forth in great detail in those reports of the 1980s. I could go on and on, but I'm out of time, so now, now it is my great privilege to turn to just one of the numerous ways that ACS empowers all of us to engage in our own creative, essential, and radical thinking about how we will promote progressive legal change. As a former Cudahy clerk, clerk to Richard D. Cudahy on the Seventh Circuit. It is my great pleasure now to present the 2015 Richard D. Cudahy Writing Competition on Regulatory and Administrative Law Awards. This competition honors Judge Cudahy's decades of distinguished service as one of the nation's finest appellate judges, and he served as a mentor to me ever since I clerked for him back in 1986. Since his appointment on the Seventh Circuit, Judge Cudahy has secured a national reputation for the depth, rigor, and fair-mindedness of his opinions, academic publications, and speeches. He is known for his unfailing decency, empathy, and generosity of spirit. I spoke with Judge Cudahy a few days ago, and he asked me to convey his greetings, his good wishes, and his encouragement to all of you, especially the law students out there as you pursue your legal careers. The judges for this year's competition were Judge Paul Edkin on the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, Judge Alok Ahuja of the Missouri Court of Appeals, Western District, Jack Bierman, professor of law at Boston University School of Law, Jeff Keeney, an environmental lawyer here in uh, DC and former principal at Hill and Keeney, Amy Widman, associate professor of law at Northern Illinois University College of Law, and Allison Zeev, director of the Public Citizen Litigation Group. We extend our deepest gratitude to all of them without their hard work reading, reviewing, evaluating the submissions, this would not be possible. As always, this year's top papers were selected in two categories, student and lawyer, and I want to add to this that both come with cash prizes, so please spread the word about this opportunity um, to your fellow students and um, to those law professors out there, to your students and uh, lawyers who work in the area of administrative and regulatory law. Okay, so the winner in the student category, Our in Action, Deference in Talk America by Cynthia Barmore, a 2015 graduate of Stanford Law School. And in the lawyer category, 
Medicine as a Public Calling by Nicholas Bagley, Assistant Professor of Law at the University of Michigan Law School. Let's give them both a round of applause.